Father's Day and we're gonna be taking my husband out for breakfast it's part of the celebration of course and after that I don't know what I'm gonna be doing to be honest with you because that's going to be the family activity this is today's outfit I'm wearing this linen dress from H&M it has this bottom down it's super comfortable but it's a super see-through. I'm wearing my shapewear, of course, and I'm wearing a thumb top underneath. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get Hi guys, I am back Well, we're back from a breakfast It took us three hours Three hours, two We were at the restaurant One hour and thirty minutes waiting for our food The thing was that It was a fair The strawberry fair over there So the restaurant was a little bit swamped with work and it was insane. We were all starving. So finally, after an hour and 20 minutes, <laughs> we ate. The food was, uh, yeah, I think the restaurant was overwhelmed because it was Father's Day and it, they had this strawberry fair. After we ate breakfast, we were walking around. it was kind of fun yes after that we came home and I started cleaning the house I put my hair in a bun because my hair was so frizzy the humidity level today is like this it's not that hot however the humidity is like crazy and my hair just like woo, likes humidity and it's frizzy 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 I still cannot find a product that works to tame my hair and for me it's really easy just to put in a bun and i have these antennas i started cleaning my closet and i was putting everything in place and i was organizing my shoes and mirna yes mirna <laughs> she had the wonderful idea to have the best and comfortable high heels for this spring and summer and i think that idea is just perfect right now because i'm here with my shoes i don't have a big and fancy closet as you can see uh, this is my side of my closet and the other side is my husband's uh, side of the closet and this is where i keep my clothes i'm cleaning here and here putting everything on place for this summer I put some coats downstairs because I'm not gonna be wearing coats for summer and yeah same with the shoes I just put away here the boots and despite that I still wear boots at work especially ankle boots mm -hmm. but you know what I'm not gonna go through all my shoes because this video will take at least two hours <laughs> I'm just going to show you the heels that are comfortable. Well, I have a heels, espadrilles, sandals. So I'm just gonna be showing from my collection, from my shoe collection, which ones I prefer because they're super comfortable. And yeah, hopefully, Merna, this is what you were expecting, okay? I'm gonna start with sandals. And sandals, I bought two pairs of sandals for this season that I am beyond happy because they are super comfortable and i'm talking about these michael kurz sandals you have seen them on my videos and these ones are true to size they are by michael kurz they have this golden hardware and they are brown color i think this will go perfect with my isabel miranda belt and a pair of shorts or dresses they are believe me super comfortable i'm not kidding by the way you're gonna see that i'm gonna be touching the soles of my shoes i'm trying to avoid as much as i can to touch the soles of my shoes but you know what after this i'm gonna wash my hands okay guys give me a break okay <laughs> all right so this is my micro course brand sandals i highly recommend and i bought these ones at macy's 
and then the same purchase I bought these ones are Tommy Hilfiger and they have this white it's a uh, it's plastic it's not leather however when I tried this at the store oh my gosh they are super comfortable at this point of my life a comfort is number one priority for me because yeah I, I I cannot stand uncomfortable shoes honestly I'm gonna be wearing these two this summer for sure I'm gonna put them back next I'm going to go ahead with espadrilles and if you follow me for a while you know that I am obsessed with the Soluros espadrilles these ones I bought them a year ago or a couple years ago I think a couple years ago mm -hmm. these ones are absolutely comfortable at the beginning I was not sure with the strap situation because they kept falling down and the thing is that if you tie or make a bow too high on your leg they're going to fall down the trick here is to tie this at, at the ankle level that way you're not going to be flexing or moving the leg you know what i mean with the movement the straps tend to fall down but if you tie the straps at the ankle level you're not going to have that situation these ones are true to size these ones are seven and a half they fit me like a glove and i highly recommend the solos espadrilles i was at macy's and purchased uh, when i bought the sandals i discovered this brand style and co at macy macy at <laughs> macy's and i was trying shoes in fact i think that i tried all the shoes from macy's <laughs> these ones are super super comfortable guys it's like wearing sneakers however you are wearing an espadrille that it has a pretty decent wedge and yeah i'm, I'm in love with this ones mm -hmm. these ones are true to size they are seven and a half and oh my gosh i highly recommend these ones macy's have different colors they have the orange they have this color the beige color they have different colors i bought the black ones because i was a hunt for black ones and i am super pleased these ones as you can see do not have the straps they have this belt and it's easy right in case that you don't want to be dealing with the straps i mean the straps looks cute because you can make a bow however if you cannot just stand the straps this one is a good option okay, enough with espadrilles and now i'm going to move on with the square heels square heels mm, these ones are not comfortable and i'm talking about the bottega veneta ones they are not comfortable at the beginning you need to break the shoes in and it's very very painful however when you pass that level you have a very comfortable heel but you need to pay the price these ones are Bottega Veneta they're true to size are they yes they're true to size these ones are 37 and a half I always choose 38 on discerning items however I pulled the trigger and bought 37 and a half on these ones because I think that that's the size that was available and they fit really well I love them i know that is not a design that everybody loves or if you love them or you hate them i love them to the point that i bought the black color mm -hmm. so here are the black color and the black color are size 28 they fit the same as these ones honestly i don't see a difference they're both uncomfortable at the beginning <laughs> But once that you break them in, you have a super comfortable shoe. Let me tell you that before I try the square toe trend, I don't know if it's a trend to be honest with you. It has been for like a couple of years already. I bought these ones. These ones I bought them at Eagle and they're super, super comfortable. The, that's why I decided to buy the Bottega Veneta ones. But these ones are very very comfortable and very similar to the Bottega ones these ones were my first square toe heels and thanks to these ones i bought the Bottega Veneta ones 
So if you don't want to break the bank with the Bottega Veneta, I highly recommend the Ego shoes. Those are really nice. The thing is that the sizing is pretty tricky and since that they are from UK, uh, it's a little bit of a hassle to return the shoes. But if you're interested on the white Bottega Venetas, <laughs> I have the perfect shoe for you. <laughs> These ones are amazing as well and they're from the gas brand and these ones are size 7 and as you can see they have the vibe with the Bottega Veneta they have the square toe they have this design and they're pretty similar so as you can see I have the Bottega Veneta ones and I have these gas ones okay so you can see the Bottega Veneta you can see that they're more like sophisticated but you know what if you don't want to break the bank, these ones are pretty amazing and super, super comfortable. Continue with the square toe trend because, yes, I love square toe heels. I have these ones and these ones are from Ego as well. And I bought them because I was testing the design from the Bottega Veneta. I decided that I'm not into this design and I'm glad that I bought the Ego ones. They are pretty comfortable. Okay, and I bought size UK5, which is equivalent to size seven and a half, I believe. And yeah, pretty comfortable, highly recommend this one. They're pretty cute. And then I bought, this ones are same thing, Bottega Veneta Light, just slides, pretty comfortable. But let me tell you they're a little bit wide here. So if you have wide feet, this will fit you perfectly. My foot looks like a banana, it's pretty thin. So they swim here inside of the shoe. So yeah, I don't wear them very often, but when I wear them, be careful if you're in front of me because this can be a weapon. <laughs> but the black color as well. These ones, I don't know where I bought these ones, but they fit a little bit better. Uh, they're not too wide here. And I mean, they just defeat at the trend, right? Okay, this is one of my latest purchases and I need to talk about these ones because they are pretty cute and they are so, so comfortable. I think these are my most uh, comfortable heels that I own. I bought these ones at Macy's and as you can see, they have, they have a heel. Mm -hmm. We're not kidding here. And they have this open toe there they're pretty cute they have this ankle buckle they are adorable and they're so so comfortable i already told you about that highly recommend these ones these ones are size seven i am a seven and a half so i size a down half a size last but not least we're gonna continue with pumps because you asked me for the most comfortable high heels as you can see i don't have a fancy high heels but i have a couple pairs yeah <laughs> they're designers so i i need to prioritize which designer item i need to i need to buy first however uh back to the pumps pumps for me are essential if you one to buy a designer for instance and you don't know where to start i highly recommend that you start with a nice pair of uh, pumps heels because they can go with everything they can go with your trousers with dresses with skirts you name it even with loungewear like honestly they look really really cute and I have three pairs. I'm not a big fan of high heels, despite that I have this Prada in my mind. Yeah, and they have this heel. <laughs> yeah, I'm 5'7 for your reference. So for me, having more height is, is not my interest. Uh, I just want to look good. And uh, despite that I'm not that tall, I feel that mm, not very comfortable when I wear high heels. So I I prefer three inches heel or four inches heel and my favorite ones for sure number one it needs to go to my Jimmy shoe high heels the heel is three inches 
and they're just perfect they have this pointy toe they're very comfortable i bought this ones maybe three years ago something like that and they look pristine the investment was worth it because these ones are pretty expensive however it's it's worth it it's worth it i bought the size 38 and these jimmy shoe are my best friend ever next ones uh, yeah i need to talk about my michael kurz nude heels these ones are amazing as well they're super comfortable at the beginning of course you need to break them in because they're leather and with any type of leather shoe you need to pay the price first <laughs> until the leather is soft and yeah yeah i remember these were these ones were painful mm -hmm. they're true to size and once that you break them in they are amazing amazing and they go with everything i wear these two pairs to work and and one of my latest purchases because i have this product in my mind i bought this pair of pumps these ones i bought them at macy's it is from the brand worthington mm -hmm. and they have this four inches heel and I think that I paid $40 for this ones and I was not 100% with the white pump but you know what I have been wearing this a lot guys a lot because they're white they go perfect with a denim or a dresses I don't know if you don't want to wear espadrilles for instance a good white pump will do it yeah I'm very pleased with this ones and I think these ones are going to convince me to buy the Prada ones because the Prada ones, <laughs> they're so cute and I want a designer wide high heel. By the way, these ones are size 8 and they are pretty comfortable so I size up. Another designer shoe that I want to show you that I'm going to be wearing this summer for sure are my Gucci loafers and these ones they look pretty tired <laughs> because I wore them last year despite that we were on the situation of the world right I wore them and they're pretty comfortable these ones are like wearing slippers honestly and I bought the ones that you can do this okay so these ones are size 38 and yeah pretty pleased with these ones i'm thinking to buy the black ones but i think the prada ones takes priority <laughs> moving on we're gonna go ahead with sneakers and sneakers are essential for summer spring fall winter for <laughs> all the seasons right but these are the sneakers that i have so far and that i am going to be wearing this summer the first ones you know yes of course the beta sneakers whoops the veggie sneakers highly recommend these ones um they are true to size and they're pretty comfortable but if you're not into the black design well i have these ones um okay this ones uh, these ones are pretty dirty but these are my go-to when i'm cleaning the house in fact i think i'm going to pull the trigger and buy one pair just for if i need to go out and they are my adidas stamp smith oh this one's is like walking on clothes and i believe these are the cloud phone yeah these ones are the cloud phone and yeah believe me this is these are like walking on clothes highly highly recommend these ones this was are going to be forever with me this size are a seven size down at least half a size but if you want to have a little bit room you know just stick with your size mm -hmm. highly recommend this one all right guys so i'm going to leave this vlog here because right now i'm cooking <laughs> yes and it's almost dinner time so i need to I don't know what I need to do. I think I'm gonna do mashed potatoes and then we have the broccoli and then the salmon. That's gonna be dinner. And I'm ready for the week with my meals. Yeah, 
I think that's it. It's time to show. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive notifications every time that I post a new video. And please, please don't forget, like for real, hit that notification bell because even when you're subscribed, you're not going to be notified when I post a new video. Mm -hmm. Just say, okay? Well, please continue watching my videos here and I'll see you next time. No, I'll see you next.